Welcome to The Lowdown, a LoJack podcast where we focus on retail automotive and the technology, trends, people, and processes shaping the industry. Welcome back to The LoJack podcast. I'm your host, Renee Garcia. Now, today we have a very special episode for you because we got to capture a very informative conversation between LoJack's very own Darwin Filey, Dealer Relationship Manager, and Carrie Ann Thomas, Director of Security at the Ziegler Automotive Group. Now, I don't want to give you any spoilers, so let's just run that interview right now. Hello, uh, welcome to the show, uh, Darwin, uh, Carrie Ann. I really appreciate you joining me today. Uh, maybe we could start with some introductions. Uh, Darwin, maybe we can start with you. Absolutely. My name is Darwin Filey. I am a uh, dealer relationship manager for major accounts where I manage the Ziegler Automotive Group here uh, in the Midwest and been in automotive now for about 32 years on the vendor and retail side. So I've kind of seen uh, both sides of the business and uh, very excited to be uh, working with Ziegler so they came on board about uh, eight weeks ago. So it's been uh, exciting in the eight <laughs> weeks <laughs> uh, since they've come on board and working with uh, Carrie Ann has, has been amazing. So it's been all good. <laughs> Carrie Ann, please introduce yourself. So I'm Carrie Ann Thomas. I'm the director of security for Ziegler Auto Group. I've been with them for about five months almost now. And I come from a uh, law enforcement background. So I spent 27 years as a law enforcement officer, firefighter, medical first responder, 15 years in the, in the military, um, and uh, entered into retirement before I was called out of retirement, asked by Ziegler Auto Group if I would uh, uh, start a new position for them uh, that would help them uh, develop an overall uh, strategy for security uh, throughout their 35 dealerships in four states. So it's a new challenge to me. I am new to the auto industry, but not new to the security end. So uh, we're trying to get to the meeting of the minds somewhere in between. Fantastic. So uh, I know Darwin, you uh, you wanted to talk to Carrie Ann about some interesting uh, goings on lately. (laughs) Yeah, so one of the things that I wanted to talk about Carrie Ann, like I said, you guys are new to LoJack. I mean, you guys have been on all of eight weeks. And one of the things that I noticed right away is that we started recovering uh, stolen vehicles right away from you guys once we installed our product. And I wondered if you could take us through some of those things that have happened early on and how uh, LoJack has, has helped you, you know, kind of manage these 35 stores and the impact it's having on your organization. Well, you know, I think I want to start before we had LoJack. Okay. Um, so uh, I was brought into this position because auto theft, and especially in the Chicagoland area, has increased exponentially and exponentially in the last 12 months. And our dealerships were being um, very affected by that. And so what LoJack has done is it's actually given us a tool that we know immediately now when those vehicles are installed. Uh, We're in a situation here in the Chicagoland area that we would have our dealerships broken into by numerous people. And we wouldn't discover it until the next day um, if the dealership didn't have an alarm or there was a situation with the alarm. And, you know, we're 12 hours behind trying to find, you know, half a dozen vehicles. And one of the things that helps us recover our vehicles and hopefully, you know, catch some of the people that are stealing our cars is the immediacy of the product, right? Right. Um, of knowing right away with those alerts that we have to take action. And having spent all those years in law enforcement, it's different when you have a crime in progress than when you're called to an auto dealership 12 hours later, and now your cars just go on the list, right? Of Okay, they got some stolen cars out there if you see them in your travels. But when you can call law enforcement and say, hey, we got a stolen car and it's moving, it's going about 72 miles an hour in this direction, um, cops like to chase people, right? And they like to catch them. And those crimes of progress um, of, of that immediacy really has been a game changer for us. But I think one of the, one of the other things is, and unique coming into the audio industry from law enforcement, 
is I've developed relationships with the people that are out there trying to stop auto theft in the Chicagoland area, with the task force and with local law enforcement, because I speak their language, right? Um, I speak their language more than I speak the general manager's language as I'm trying to explain you know, how we can keep guard cars from getting stolen. So having those relationships and then adding this prod, uh, product, you know, to Ziegler Auto Group as a tool in our toolbox, you know, as soon as those cards were stolen, the first time we had Lojack on them, you know, I had the GM saying, okay, call Lojack, go through the app. And I'm making the call to the task force saying, okay, they're reporting them to Lojack right now. Here's our connection. I can tell you where the cards are. And um, immediately, you know, using the partnership with Lojack and the partner with the law enforcement on the ground, our recovery, um, you know, not in 29 minutes, but uh, within 12 hours, you know, we had a majority of those cards back. And, and like you said, Darwin, we've been uh, with Lojack about eight weeks and we've had um, 11 recoveries already. So those are 11 vehicles we wouldn't have gotten back otherwise, or we would have gotten back when they were found in an impound yard, probably in a condition we didn't want. So Carrie Ann, with that, uh, we've got back 11. What was, the, what was the number of stolen vehicles last year for the Ziegler organization uh, before you got LoJack? So we, last year, uh, we had 62 vehicles stolen. So we had 31 vehicles stolen January through the end of August. And then from September to the end of December, we had 31. So and in the what, last four months, we had as many vehicles we had in the preceding eight months. And what was the recovery like for those vehicles? Well, I'm still looking for 30. <laughs> I'm still looking for 30 of them, you know, um, and the ones that we did get back, you know, a couple of them, you know, we get them back just sheer luck. They ran out of gas two miles from the dealership in the middle of the night. But most of them um, are, we've gotten back have really been damaged and not in a, in a condition that anyone wants to drive them. Because what we're finding with the vehicles we have stolen is the majority of them are being stolen to go commit other crimes. People show up in stolen vehicles to steal more vehicles to commit other crimes. So they're not going to chop shops. They're not going overseas. They're being kept um, regionally. Okay. Okay. Now, with that being said, and and we're talking about the stolen car aspect of uh, and protecting your assets. What about lot management? How has the GMs turned this tool into a not just protecting my assets, but I'm also managing you know, my inventory as well. How has that helped uh, Ziegler in, in that regard? Well, you know, I think that's been one of the best feedback is that we know where all our cars are now. So even when cars weren't being stolen, um, there was always a you get that call, hey, we're not sure where this car is, you know, because the uh, physical inventories goes on once a month and a lot of things happen in between those 30 days, you know, even though um, inventory is not at an all time high. There's still a lot of cars to keep track of and a lot of assets to keep track of, but now they can easily do that with the app. And I've gotten really good feedback, um, relative to, yeah, we know where every single car is now and knowing when that car moves, right. Knowing what's going on with the demos, the loaners, the rental cars, um, you know, managing the alerts. I'm still working on that. Eight, eight okay. weeks in, 35 dealerships and the alerts uh, going off. But uh, let me tell you, I at two in the morning, I can tell if it's real or not. So. Right, right, right. Well, we certainly appreciate the uh, uh, partnership. And one of the things that every dealer looks forward to is making money. So not mm -hmm. only are you lot management, but also as an asset protection device, but you also are upselling in the off in the finance office to some of your customers. Talk to me about how that transition, you know, has worked in the dealership because we're starting to see some some pretty significant upsell in some of these F and I offices of customers that are transferring the asset protection from you over to them because I think a lot of people today recognize they need to protect their investment. <laughs> Absolutely. And I think, you know, that at the end of the day is my mindset is on asset protection is like, how can I keep these cars from uh, being stolen? So everyone has cars to sell. But, you know, it really opened my eyes that at the other end, that it had to be a tool for the salesmen too. And now they have another opportunity to really provide something very tangible in a, in a 
environment of a product that's really needed, you know, and put some money in their pockets too. It is such a tangible product. I wouldn't buy a car without it. And uh, I know a thousand ways to keep my car from being stolen, right? Right, right. You know, what's interesting is, and I know you and I talk all the time, but you know, you had an ins- uh, uh, issue where Highline Vehicle, Orland Park BMW, which is one of the Ziegler stores, uh, had some some stolen vehicles, and we worked to recover, you know, some of those vehicles. But in that recovery process, we also discovered some other dealers' vehicles that they didn't uh, realize yeah. was stolen. Uh, talk to me about, you know, some of the decision making when you guys came on board and said, you know what? We're going to go with LoJack. What was what was that process like? And have you shared some of that with any of the local dealers in the area that they're struggling with some of the same issues that you are? Well, you know, I think when when um, Aaron Ziegler called me up and said, hey, you know, I've, I've heard of this product. Will you make contact? Will, will this work for us? And walking through what LoJack offered and how that product worked. And I just want to be when you say low jack, right, it means a lot of things to different people. And I come from 20 years ago, the name low jack, as I sat in a police cruiser driving around trying to figure out how to work that thing, right? (laughs) And so it's not your, and I hate to age myself, your grandfather's low jack, right? Right. And explaining what kind of tool it was now and how not only is it going to be an asset protection, but like you said, in the F&I office and that lot management tool um, and just taking us to the next, uh, to the next level of, of how we manage these dealerships and managing all three of those things. And so as we got into it and realized this is the product for us and really forming that partnership and just, you know, the, um, the way that Logic came in and really got us up and running at, I mean, warp speed, really at warp speed, because our problem was so enormous and so immediate, we knew that if this is the right product, we got to do it right away. And, and so many people, you know, it was a heavy, heavy lift. And I recognize that and appreciate it because I think if we hadn't done that push, when we had uh, two very large uh, thefts, both at two dealerships in January, right? Um, if we hadn't had that push, I don't know if we'd have the recovery rate. I know we wouldn't have the recovery rate we have today. Well, well, you're right. I mean, when you think about the job, LoJack, what we did, I mean, we came in with the all hands approach where we flew installers in from all over the country. I mean, we literally installed, you know, 35 stores, Renee, in about 60 days, which we typically, you know, by the time we get CDK to integrate and the forms and everything that has to happen for us to launch a store, went at warp speed because we really, you know, our senior director, Melissa High, had a great team that she facilitated getting all the installers in, you know, with the training team. We brought in numerous training managers where we actually had training going on in several different stores at the same time, you know, to help launch this product. So we recognize it as a true partnership and looking forward to a long relationship with Ziegler Automotive Group because one of the things that we recognize without partners like you where we can grow and learn from, you know, we wouldn't be in existence today. So, uh, again, we we appreciate your support. And I don't know, Renee, if I missed any questions that you may want to ask, um, but I think, you know, uh, uh, Carrie Ann, from her standpoint, what I love is being a law enforcement officer to now coming involved, working at a dealership. And I know in our world, you know, you're dealing with several different personalities. And I know you, <laughs> and I know you got some kick, you know, you got some pushback from some of the GMs initially when, when you wanted to have this product installed. And yeah. some of those, some of those GMs now are our biggest fans, you know, speak yeah. to that a little bit. <laughs> well, you know, and I think that's with anything, right? It's trying to get the idea um, that you have and the vision you have and everyone to buy in. And, it, you know, it's one more thing to manage. It's one more thing to figure out how to put in your cards. It's people's uh, perceptions of what low jack or those type of products used to be. And, you know, just that constant push that, you know, it's going to prove itself. 
And it proved itself so quickly, especially to some of those that really thought, you know, okay, I'm, I'm going to do it, but you know, I don't think it's going to pan out. And then that first time that you are truly affected um, by a, a big theft and you can, you can call up and, you know, tell the boss, yep, we got our cards back, right? We didn't lose them. Um, and understanding, okay, I get the value now and all that work was worth it. You know, I got some really good anecdotes. I mean, we've only, uh, it, since the beginning of the year, recovered cards. But like you had mentioned before, you know, and I'm one of our first uh, low jack alerts that was a real break-in at our Orland Park BMW store and chasing those cars down, you know, and calling the task force and the sergeant calls me up and he goes, I found your car right where low jack says it is in a garage. It's next to another stolen car from another dealership. And that dealership didn't even know that car had been stolen yet because this is a Sunday night and then they're chasing the other car. They got the helicopters up, you know, and really using that, that tool. Um, it, it was just amazing to, to see it in work at work. And then when everyone is trying to come together after some of these big thefts we've had and really put some more security uh, practices in place, they all feel violated, right? That's their house. They're there more often, more hours and with these people, you know, you feel violated when they've taken these assets and they really came together and saw um, what it takes to recover. And now Ziegler Auto Group has the ability in partnering with Loaded Lojack to recover these vehicles. You know, we've had a couple fraud cases. We had one this week, you know, all of a sudden, three weeks later, we, we discover that uh, the person that bought the car uh, was not who he said he is. Uh, Low Jack was still on that car. And uh, next thing you know, you pull it up and there it's sitting at the airport in Atlanta. That is not close to Michigan. <laughs> so, um, you know, and, and the things that go with that and to be able to call back to the dealership and say, hey, guess what? You know, they they found our car down there in uh, Georgia and, and they impounded it. So that's all good stuff. And, and again, you know, that kind of thing. So the fraud you know, identity theft, we know mm -hmm. it's big, you know, uh, like you said, that person actually bought a vehicle or claimed to have bought a vehicle, turned mm -hmm. out to be fraud. We flip it, get the car back for you. You know, I know we had an instance where we had a service loaner that was stolen, yeah. you know, from a customer's house. You know, we recovered that vehicle, I think, in less than an hour, you less know, from Downers Grove, you know, where the vehicle was, you know, Renee, that car was stolen from outside the customer's house. And they called the dealer and we immediately uh, got on it and got that vehicle, you know, back in, in a short time. So uh, and, and it's stories like this that I think that people need to hear to understand, you know, the validity, the validity of what we do and how we do it. I think it's important. And Carrie Ann, you've been a great partner in, in sharing and screaming from the rooftops that if you don't have low jack, you better get it. <laughs> yeah, I tell everybody, hey, this is a reason to buy your car at Ziggler. It'll have low jack on it, right? Absolutely. Really and, you know, yeah. I'm always, as soon as I have a vehicle stolen, I'm texting, I'm texting Darwin, hey, we have some vehicles stolen. And, you know, usually the next text the next day is, hey, we got that vehicle back, right? Yeah. Which it's is right. a really good feeling. And so, Renee, give you an idea how big this is for Ziggler Automotive Group. They have in their suite of products, they have what they call Z Guard, which is their paint and protection, you know, on the vehicles. So I came up with the name the Ziegler Asset Protection Plan, powered by Lojack, which is Zap. So it is known in all of the dealerships as Zap. You know, when they're talking to their customers, they're talking to their customers about Z Guard and Zap, the Ziegler Asset Protection Plan, and how we could transfer that protection over to you. So how cool is that to be able to to, to have a product? Powered by Lojack, it's called Zap. So, you know. That's yeah. amazing. <laughs> Wonderful branding. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And we've only had eight weeks together, Darwin. Imagine what it's going to look like when we're at the eight-month mark, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, I don't have anything to follow up with. Uh, Carrie Ann, is there anything else you wanted to add? No, I just want to thank you for this opportunity. And I think, you know, as we move down the road and – um, Lojack is open to suggestions because I am telling, telling you, I am, I am in deep in this Lojack and knowing how the product works and trying to figure out the best way. 
um, for us to have it in operation. So it works in so many different manners. And Lojack is so open to suggestions when I say, hey, you know, if we tweaked these three things, it would really make it easier for the end user on the dealer end user and some of those things that we're looking at. And everyone is just so open. So I just think the sky's the limit as to the next steps and the upgrades we see in the product. And and it, it's an asset for every single consumer. It, it really is as much as it is an asset for us. Well, fantastic. Mm-hmm. Uh, Darwin, is there anything you wanted to add? No, I'm all, I'm all good. I, like I said, it's been the partnership is great. Uh, what Ziegler Automotive Group is doing, you know, with the product speaks for itself. You know, to get great penetration in the F and I office, the, the stores are using it to manage their inventory. You know, even with the snowstorms that we get, Renee, it's very cool that these guys can look on their phone and say, "Okay, we're going to pull the keys for these fifteen cars that are on the east side of the building," as opposed to having to go outside to see which cars are where, then come back in and get keys, so they can literally walk out with the keys, move the cars, plow the lot. Come, I mean, it's it's a win-win all across the board. <laughs> and I just want to say, you know, Darwin makes that sound simple, but here in the Midwest, you can't even tell what car's sitting there because it's so covered with snow. You only know because Lojack says that's the car sitting there. So that's a big deal there. <laughs> well, that's an excellent point. I think we should work that into our marketing. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. If you're a franchise dealer and you'd like to learn more about how LoJack can help your dealership get more aftermarket sales, more lot management, and more service retention, then please visit LoJack.com. That's LoJack.com. LoJack, L-O-J-A-C-K.com. L-O-J-A-C-K.com.